Every year, there's about 33,000 children born with amniotic band syndrome, or we call it ABS. ABS is a disease that a child is born without any fingers. Notice that when they're using the original device, it's hard for them to pick up smaller objects. So what we did is we created this device where we were able to use a spring and a bolt to move the thumb into different positions, depending on what kind of pinch they want to do. So with this device, with the wrist flexion, the thumb stays out, and the hands, the fingers and stuff still bend in. But if they're doing from some more fine tooth movement, or they're trying to pick up like a water bottle or something cylinder-like, we can move the thumb into a new position, and what that creates is the ability to do a pinching motion. We actually developed an elbow-driven device that builds off the same concept of the original hand, where it's taking, instead of using the motion of the wrist, we're actually uh, using the flexion of the elbow. As they extend their elbow, they can clasp the fingers and grab things, and as they relax the elbow, they can let go. Ultimaker has donated us two printers for our research. They donated us their Ultimaker 2 and the newest one, the Ultimaker 2 Extended. First we start out with just making hands for children. As we've got more experience and we've uh, created new designs, we've moved to uh, below the elbow amputees and we're making uh, arm devices. And now we're even uh, developing a shoulder device. As we go further up the arm, the pieces that need to be printed are much larger and so Having that extra build volume definitely makes it easier on us. Instead of breaking the prints out into separate pieces, we can print a whole arm on one printer. We don't want the hand to just primarily be for function for the kids. We want it to be fun. A lot of these kids, if they don't have fingers, you know, some of them are very self-conscious about it. And if they can get a hand that looks like a toy, it feels like a toy, it's plastic, and it looks cool, it's their favorite colors. It really kind of brings some light out in them. The demographic for our hands, um, we really try to focus around the Omaha metro area. We have children as young as three, and then we also have kids up to the age of 17 using our devices. When the children contact us, we make it clear to their parents that we charge nothing for hands. This is part of the research we're doing. There, there are no fees included. We're definitely on a mission to put these uh, 3D printed prosthetic hands, not just in all the children here in Nebraska, but continue that outreach uh, throughout the country and throughout the world as well. To do that, it's gonna take you know, a lot of support, outside support from uh, companies like Ultimaker. And so it's definitely great to have them on our side.